Hey guys, so so this is a question I've been getting a lot today because I forgot this, that this banner came back today. I wanted this video to come out yesterday, thinking that it was going to come out the next day, but it's here now. So is Togepi and May slash Lopini worth it? So I'm just going to go over what each of these units do, comparing them to what the current four units are out that they do as well, if this competes with their kits at all. And if this is actually worth it. So, Togepi here. Right, I'm just going to do to Togepi first. A little egg boy. So, stat-wise, pretty good HP. Almost 800. Defenses are alright. Uh, 275, not horrible. Speed, 280. Could be better, but it's not the worst. So, yeah, stat, stat, stat distribution is alright. You have access to the support EX, which is really strong. So, you have Metronome here, which uses one of several moves at random. So, this isn't like actual Metronome from the games of where it's one of, like, any move in, in the entire game catalog. It just uses one of 17 or 18. And I don't remember if it uses a normal type move or not. But it's one of 17 or 18, one of every type. So, it's a much smaller move pool. Direct Plus, so you can max out all ally crit rate and crit support. Potion for healing, very good. Happy Colors raises, raises accuracy by one stage, raises defense and special defense by one to three stats at random. So you can use Togepi to top off any defenses or if defense isn't as important, but it's really used for the accuracy and the additional countdown if you're not spamming Metronome, if it's a much slower team. I personally hope this was speed instead of both defenses, but it's whatever. Sync move, 300 base power, no additional effect, it's whatever. Team Supercharger 5 has a 6% chance of raising the attack or special attack or both of all sync fires by one static one when the user's move targeting an opponent is successful. So you can use Togepi to top off offenses just by spamming moves. So that makes this a little more useless in my opinion. But yeah, you can use Togepi to top off, off top off offenses to people who already get up to plus 4 and dire hit all. So you can do that. Catalyst applies move, move acceleration when you use a thing move for the for the first time each battle. So when you get your support EX, you get free move get acceleration as well. That's really good. So that helps with whatever speed issues you might have, but unfortunately you have to wait for that first sync. Healing super restores use HP by approximately 20 percent when its move is super effective. Now this is the part of kit that I think that I think is not as good. Metronome has a has a 1 in 18 chance to use a super effective hit because obviously Pokemon in this game, this game only have one weakness. So you heal yourself by, by 20% when you hit the 1 in 18 chance. That's not consistent healing. Now if we go over the grid here, I'm just going to go over them one at a time. 1 out of 5, you get really nothing. Grid hit rate cannot be lowered, cannot be confused. Defense, especially since kit can't be lowered. It's honestly whatever. The base kit's just fine. Two out of five, you get access to vigilance, potion stuff, but to then team team healing super hit restores the HP of all sync players by twenty percent when the move when the move is, is successful. I don't know if this would apply to Togepi twice or if this just says the rest of your allies, but whatever. Metronome movie had refresh one. That's only twenty percent, so that's me. Eh? Fifty percent chance of raising. Special attack by one star rank when it is hit by a move. So, you want Togepi to be tank for the highest fuck HP stat. CS1, fine. And maxed out. Team Fierce Entry, so you raise heaven attack by one when you enter the field. More potion stuff. Team Grand Entry, special attack when you enter. Su super duper effective three. And when you land that super effective hit, 30% increase. Super counter 9. Reduces sync tech cut by 1. The move is, su is super effective. Once again, a 1 in 18 chance. Not that worth it, in my opinion. Standout, revert, standout reserve 6 when you hit low, pink, full HP. And another super duper effective 2. So that's 50% in total when you hit a super effective hit. More potions of Happy Colors NPR. And yeah. So my overall thoughts on this kit. As nice as Vigilance is... You don't need it because the rest of the grid, in my opinion, with the exception of whatever potion stuff you can grab, is so mediocre. The rest of this, you're not using Dobie as a damage dealer because you have nothing else. You're not using, 
you're not getting the super effective stuff consistently enough to be worth it. So really just I say one out of five is perfectly fine for this unit. If you want two out of five for the vigilance, it's an argument. If if you're sitting on like four plus support candies, maybe do it. But in my opinion, you should save them for someone much better. Because the vigilance and the potion stuff does not make that much of a difference. Like, I would not even do a 3 out of 5. I would just do 2 out of 5 if you must do it. Because I don't think you need Vigilance. I don't think you need the potion stuff. Lucky skill, I would go with Adrenaline if you have the extra pink... If you have the extra purple candies. If not, just slap Vigilance on and there you go. You have essentially 2 out of 5. Until you get enough pur purple candies to actually... Pur yeah, purple cookies, sorry. Enough purple cookies to say, okay, this is kind of worth it now. I, I would consider going for it. Going for Adrenaline, I should say. But yeah, Togepi. Togepi is a really good unit. Has a lot of good stuff go going on for it. Like, semi-consistent healing, potions, support EX is always good. Catalyst. Uh, someone who buffs crit rate. Just Togepi does have a lot of good stuff going for it. Very spammable one-bar move, but the one issue is just how consistent the super effective hits come. If they were to come more often... A, a super duper effective would would be would be pretty worth it. Team healing super hit would be pretty worth it. Countdown would definitely be be worth it because for every super effective super effective hit minus minus one minus one minus one it would just get you so much quicker. But right now it's just not not worth it. For now, Togepi as a unit is worth it. Dupes not worth it. One and done. Now let's go into. The only normal physical striker, Lopini. Lopini and May. This was a unit a lot of people wanted just because she was May. Now, why? Unit wise. So you have high base HP, 730, that's pretty good. Attack, 396. Defenses are mediocre, speed's alright. Then you become Mega Lopini. Yes, becomes Mega. Your attack goes up to 475, which is alright. Defenses aren't really touched. Speed speed goes up a little bit, not by much though. So base kit, you you start as bunny, right? Headbutt, thirty percent chance of making the tar the target flinch, hundred percent accuracy, two bars. See, I like this, but they don't do anything else with it. If they had her actually flip kits like almost entirely. And actually had aggravation on the grid so you can actually use her non-mega. I would say she's a little more worth it. But as she stands, she isn't worth it. Potions for healing. X defense all is whatever. Hippity hoppity. When lo when used by Lopini, raises the speed of all I think by two star ranks. When Lopini, when used by Lopini, raises the, uh, the used evasion. So everyone gets plus two speed while she gets plus two evasion. So that's plus four, right? If the user is Mega Lopini, it raises accuracy by one stat rank. Ra raises the user accuracy by one and raises the user evasion by three. So with this, if you're using her as a as a support, you want to give everyone the speed and yourself a little bit of evasion at the plus four, right? If you use her as a fighting striker, you 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 use it to raise high jump kicks accuracy and get your evasion at the plus six. You lose the speed support. That's not worth it, in my opinion. No matter you go Lopini becomes fighting type. So so yeah, she, so yeah, she she becomes fighting type. Sync morph changes your sync move the first time to use each battle to fighting type. Whoop you do. Re Revenge boost five. So you want to use her as tank when you get hit. Six percent chance of just charging one move gauge. So a fan favorite raises the user type by six the first time its sync move is used is used each battle. So when you use the sync move, you, you max out your attack immediately. What she needs is crit support. I don't see Togepi is meant to go with her for that. But, eh. I don't know. I don't like this unit. So, so now what this changes to, headbutt changes to move gauge boost. Move gauge by three, whatever. And uh, X defense all changes to high jump kick. 162 base power. And when you miss, you take 50% damage. It's whatever. Repelling strike, 60% chance of charging the move gauge by one when you attack. 
Sing Morph and Soul Fanfare still are there. So you really just get so pretty much it's it it, it it's a sixty percent chance for a free move gauge. It's MGR six essentially. Well, MGR five essentially. No big deal though, and the sick move does not change. Now let's go over the grid because that that kit's a disaster. One out of five, you get nothing. Like. Look at this. You get nothing. It's not worth it. <laughs> Two out of five. If if you were to consider pulling for multiple, like, okay, I really, really want to use Loki. What could I get from this? MPRs appear. MGR for high jump kick. High jump kick power. Potion MPR. All right. Whatever. Whatever. Then maxed out, you get ramming speed, which you don't boost if you are mega, which is what you'd want to use if she's a DPS. For the accuracy up. Unless you have someone else who boosts accuracy, which is not many people. You're just stuck with zero accuracy with a 90% move with a chance to cut your HP in half. So you have to use this when you're mega for, for, the, for the extra accuracy and evasion, because why not? You don't get the speed. You only get the speed when you're in base. So ramming speed, you have to have someone else get you plus six speed. Propeller, 20% chance of reducing the user's sync count by one when it uses the move. But it's like a propulsion, so it's whatever. Impatient one, when you get hit by a move, you you have 20% chance of lowering your sync count by one. This is alright, but you have to be using her as a tank to do this, though. And you actually have to get hit. So, like, if you're raising your own evasion, this seems contradictory. I don't know. Maybe I'm just a little bitch about it, but I, I don't like this. Endurance. I don't know if your high jump kick crashing will actually trigger if Endura Fielders go through it. I never tested that, but that's interesting. HP advantage. You, you fail one high jump kick. There goes all of your HP momentum. HP advantage is such a bad passive. Like, I hate it. I hate it. So, this unit is just bad. Maybe with Fighting Zone, she would get some form of viability. But it her kit is just so mixed up, it's not worth it. How I would fix this unit is I would give her some form of crit support. Like Sharp Entry 2, for example. So, so you can max out your own, your own crit rate just on Mega Evolving. I would give her Headbutt Aggravation instead of Impatient. I would give her Ridicure. So wait, when you evade a move, you heal. I would do something else other than Ramming Speed. Like, Ramming Speed's fine, but may, maybe like... What's the one on Morty? I think it's Morty. Uh... Who here does evasion stuff? I'm thinking of Morty, right? Well, Blind Spot has sync moves. I want regular. No, it, no, it's Incineroar. I think you guys know what I'm thinking of at this point, but I'm just doing this for argument's sake just so I can actually pull up the name. Bob and Weave. If she had Bob and Weave instead of ramming speed, she would be a lot better in my opinion. But she doesn't. Like, I just do not think Lopini is worth it in this slice. If you get her because you like May, whoop-dee-doo. You always go for your favorites first. But also keep in mind, we do not know if any of these current pairs that 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 is that includes a Selagor, a Scavalier, Poltergeist, Sonya. We do not know if they're coming back. We don't know if Keldo's coming back. We don't know if Buzzwell's coming back. We don't know if any of these special costume units are coming back. If you have the go for Togepi, get one and done. Don't worry about May. If you want to wait for a future Seasal select, you can do that. Because you're because at that point you are guaranteed with just a little bit of money if you're willing to spend it. I don't don't want to tell anyone how to spend their money. But overall. I would recommend you skip this banner just because we don't know the certainty of the special costume units coming back. However, do as I say, not as I do. Tomorrow's video you'll see is me summoning for Togepi. 
I will not say how those results went. Because I don't even know yet. I didn't do them yet. I'm actually just setting up right now. But, yeah. But, yeah. I recommend you guys skip this banner. If you have to do it, do it. If you want to do the guaranteed see if you get lucky off it, do the guaranteed see if you get lucky on it. By all means. If you spent money, spend money however you wish. If you're free to play, that's what I recommend. Because I have a lot of people asking me. I might do these more often. And I want this to come out before the banner. But I'm an idiot. So, that's it with this video. If you guys found this helpful, please please drop a comment down below saying, Hey, hi, G. Hey, 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 thanks for answering my, answering my question. And I'll see you all in the summer video. Bye.